In this tutorial, you're going to take an image, you're going to pixelate it, and prepare it for a Lego mosaic so you can make it out of Legos. The first thing we're going to do is get the image from me, Mr. F, on the network and bring it into your own student T drive, my documents folder. So what we're going to do first is go to my computer, the upper left corner looks like a computer, it says my computer, and if it's not there, you go to start my computer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and left click or twice on the my computer and go to the V drive. You can see that the V drive, computers on students, V in uh, colon in parentheses is at the last one on the list. V, because graphic arts is a very awesome class. Speaking of graphic arts, there's the graphic arts folder. And then we're going to go to the correct class, Art 7. The project is the pixel unit, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Then I'm going to go to the Legos folder and images. Now we have our image here, and it's the Major League Baseball logo. This is going to be what we're going to pixelate as an example of how to take an image, pixelate it, and prepare it for the Lego mosaic. So I'm going to hit X because I want to bring it into my, your student folders or my documents T drive. That way you can save over it, work on it from different computers. So a quick fix for that is take that Major League Baseball JPEG image file and drag it to my documents right here. All right. Now I'm going to click My Documents, and presto, the image is in your My Documents folder. That was really quick. I taught you really something cool that you will use in the future. Speaking of using things in the future, we're going to take this Major League Baseball image, and we're going to go ahead and bring it into Photoshop Elements. I'm going to go ahead and right click, open with Adobe Photoshop Elements. If it's not in this little menu, just go to Choose Program, and Photoshop Elements will show up right here. Then I'm going to click OK. Now a window may come up, just click Ignore Profile. That'll get you to this screen. If you decide to open up Photoshop Elements via the icon by double clicking, make sure you ignore Profile, then you're going to go ahead and click the Edit button, which is that orange button, because we are in edit mode. All right. Then you uh, go ahead and hit Control O to open or File Open, and then find the document MLB in your T drive. It will open up this document, and we're ready to go. The first thing I'm going to do when I'm making this into a pixelated image is I'm going to adjust the image size and make sure everything's okay. I'm going to hit Control Alt I, and the width is 600. The height is 400. Make sure you're in pixels. This is 72 resolution. We're okay with that because we're not going to print this out. We're using it as a visual. If we wanted to print it out, the resolution should be 300. All right, everything looks good, so I'm going to hit OK on my image size. I'm going to hit Control-0 to zoom in. Make sure you hit Control-0, because if you hit Control-O, O, open, and you accidentally open the document. O. Oh, no, that's not what we wanted. Oh, hit cancel. Make sure you hit control zero to zoom in. All right, once we're zoomed in, I'm going to go ahead and give it a mosaic filter effect. I'm going to go at the top and select filter from the menu, and I'm going to go to pixelate. The next option I'm going to click is mosaic. As you can see right away, the image gets pixelated. Make sure your cell size is 10. Type it in on this box here. Then hit OK. You can change the ranges if you wanted to, but really we need it at 10. And a quick way to do that is just type in 10, and we are at a pixelated image. Hit OK. Wow, that's looking super pixelated. We are at a good start. Look at how the squares make pixels. Before we had an image, I'm just going to click Undo, and we were zoomed out, and it looks a lot better. But once we do the pixel mosaic, pixelated mosaic in the filters, it looks a lot pixelated. It's like we took a small image and made it larger. 
we are trying to give it that effect. Never do this in real life if you are going to print out a nice image. Always take a larger image and make it smaller, but never take a smaller image and make it larger or you get this pixelated effect. The next thing we're going to do, because we want to make this pixelated for Legos, is we're going to change the brightness and contrast to draw out some of those gray areas to make them either bluer or whiter or redder. I'm going to go to Enhance, Adjust Lighting, and Brightness and Contrast. Enhance, Adjust Lighting, Brightness and Contrast. Now I'm in the lighting, and I'm going to go ahead and change this brightness. Let's go about 110. And then I'm going to change the contrast. Let's go 100. Now working with it, I could see that maybe 100 for both could be the best opportunity to bring out the squares. As you can see, some of the gray areas went away. And that is good because we want to draw out that contrast to make it look pixelated. This will make it easier for our next process. But before we get to making a pixelated brush, I almost forgot. We need to see the grid so we can put these in perspective for pixels. I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences, and I'm going to go to Grid. Edit, Preferences, Grid. Now that I'm in the grid, I'm going to make sure that the grid line is every 10 pixels. Make sure it says pixels, not inches. Okay, pixels. That's what we want. Subdivisions, I'm going to make sure there's one. And then I'm going to go ahead and select a grid color. Let's make it some obnoxious color so we're able to see it. And this neon green looks pretty good. I'm going to click OK, but oh no, the grid hasn't shown up. My computer hates me. No, it doesn't. We got to show the grid. You got to tell it what to do. So I'm going to go to View, Grid, and there we go. We have our grid. We've drawn some contrast, and we're ready to make our pixel brush so we can fill in the gaps. I'm going to go ahead and save my work as and remember, in your My Documents, I'm just going to give it a 1, so that way I have it saved, and just hit OK, so I'm ready to move on the Pixel Brush. Now remember, it's in My Documents, Okay, Control-Shift-S, it's in My Documents so I can save it. If it's on the V drive, then you're trying to save it over into My Folder and you're going to have a problem. So make sure you follow the steps to save your MLB file into your T drive so you can move on and save as and to the pixelated brush in my next tutorial. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and continue watching so we can make Lego mosaics together.